today let me talk to some sisters who need to hear this let me say it out loud for those who are in the back row so they can hear me and if you're playing it anywhere put it on speaker i don't care if you're at work put it on speaker because some females some of our sisters some women need to hear this you know there are real men and brothers out there who are trying very hard to be in, be in their child's life, okay? But some of, some of our sisters, some women, have placed themselves in the middle of all that and become a real-life barrier. They try to turn the, 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 the kids or the child against their fathers. They manipulate the, the relationship that child is to have with their father based off of their emotions. And I find that very selfish. Your emotion and your sourness has nothing to do, has, should have no bearing on the child's relationship with their father. Okay? Especially little girls. Alright? Little girls need their fathers, especially if they have loving fathers who are doing everything to be in their lives. Little girls need their father. I know what it feels like growing up without a father because my father passed away at a very, very young age. Okay, I didn't even get to know him. I was only, I was only one. Okay, and not growing up with a father or a father figure um, is is very, very, it takes a very... It takes a, it takes a very bad toll on the on, on, on the on the female. So you may sit there and say, Oh, I can tell my daughter everything there is to know about a man. Oh yes, you can. But you what you cannot give her is the experience she is to have with a man. Her father is the only person or a father figure who very much loves her is the only person who can build her emotions the right way to be able to deal with these men out there. You can tell her anything, but she has not experienced what it's like to, to be close to a man until she's close to her father. Her father is the only person who's going to you know, be the first to love her, so she's not desperate for that love when she grows up. You know what I'm saying? That's what some sisters fail to realize. Don't do that to your little girls. You need to allow their fathers to be in their life regardless of how you feel about them. If that man used to abuse you, I'm so sorry. If he used to cheat on you, I'm so sorry. But I, I, I am confident that any good father who didn't have a good relationship with the mother doesn't, doesn't, doesn't define how he's going to love his daughter or his son. These boys are out there. Some mothers are, 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 are destroying the relationship they have with their fathers. Why are you doing that? Huh? Why are you doing that? You, you, you think you can raise a man. You can try with the help of being on your knees and praying, but God is a just God. If he sees that that boy's father is desperately trying to be the father he ought to be in that in that boy's life, and you're just being in the middle, I mean, like your, I mean, I mean, you you should love your neighbors as yourself. You know, you should treat others how you want to be treated. You can't be on your knees praying and doing such thing and expect your prayers to be answered. I mean, straight up. If a father is out there trying to be in his son's life, in his daughter's life, get yourself out of the way. Get yourself out of the way. It has nothing to do with you. If you're still sour and mad over what happened in the relationship, hey, two grown folks not knowing how to act, two grown folks having misconduct and making a hostile environment for children is not appropriate for the child anyway. But when you guys separate, let the children have communication and relationship with whichever parent who does not have custody of them. That stuff... That stuff is wicked. That stuff is evil. It's very evil to do it to a child. Okay? Sometimes kids may not understand. Sometimes the, the, the child may have grown up with, with, without building a relationship with the father. And sometimes they, they get a little they, they get a little scared of going there because they've been around mommy so long. You ought to be the one to encourage that child. That's your daddy. Your daddy loves you. Mommy wants you to have a relationship with your father because he loves you. I don't care. Because sometimes children will be afraid to go. 
go over to the father's house or it may be the other way go over to the mother's house because they are not used to their parent now if you know within yourself regardless of how that person how how the relationship between you or that person you know didn't work out if you know within your heart that that's a good father you should be encouraging your child that that man loves him or her and that man and, and they should be happy to be in the company of their father you need to tell them that there are a lot of kids out there who would like to who would love to have a father like your dad your dad is a good man i know you're not used to him but you need to go I, I, mom, mommy loves you the same way mommy loves you is how much your daddy loves you your daddy loves you even more encourage that child it's good for a child to have a father. Don't don't sever that relationship based on your hatred for the man or whatever sour emotions you have. You know, I just wanted to put this out there because a lot of kids are falling victim to their to their mothers or custodial parents emotion and selfishness and that is not that is not fair. That is not fair. A courthouse shouldn't have to detect how who a courthouse shouldn't have to detect a child's relationship with their parents not unless it has to do with safety issues and abuse but you in your right mind you know the other parent does not abuse their child and you want to go to court over child support i'm not saying it's wrong to ask for child support i mean the child is with you but some of y'all go to court and instead of just asking for support y'all y'all bring all kinds y'all bring all kinds of problems in the court just to make the the other parent look bad that's that stuff that stuff y'all need to stop that stuff y'all need to stop that stuff because y'all y'all leave the children y'all leave the children emotions hanging out of balance y'all leave the children suffering emotionally just because they are little doesn't mean that they don't deserve the kind of love they need to get from each parent okay so do not do not prevent a child from having a relationship with a loving father you are destroying that child you are destroying that child you bore that child, but you cannot, you cannot detect, you cannot suffocate the areas of their life where they need to feel the compassion and the caring and the kind, kind hearted, you know, you know, your comfort of the other parent. I almost got emotion, emotional there because children suffer due to the behaviors of adults all the time. And it's very, very sad. It's very sickening and it's very sad. 